Good morning everyone, my name is Joshua Midalugdog and I will be discussing the process of mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is used to produce daughter cells that are genetically identical to the parent cells. The cell copies or replicates its chromosomes and then splits the copied chromosomes equally to make sure that each daughter cell has a full set. Meiosis Meiosis is used to make special cells, sperm cells and egg cells, that have half the normal number of chromosomes. It reduces the number from 23 pairs of chromosomes to 23 single chromosomes. Then cell copies its chromosomes, but then separates the 23 pairs to ensure that each daughter cell has only one copy of each chromosome. A second division that divides each daughter cell again to produce four daughter cells. Mitosis. Your body contains trillions of cells, but your started life as a single cell, a fertilized egg cell. This cell then divided and divided to make more cells to, through a process called mitosis. Mitosis is a way of making more cells that are genetically the same as the parent cells. It plays an important part in the development of the embryos and is important for the growth and development of our body as well. Mitosis produces a new cells and replaces cells that are old, lost, or damaged. In mitosis, a cell divides to form new identical daughter cells. It is important that the daughter cells has, have a copy of every chromosome, so the process involves co copying the chromosome first and then careful, carefully separating the copies to give each new cell a full set. Before mitosis, the chromosomes are copied. They, they then coil up and each chromosome look, look like a letter X in the nucleus of the cell. The chromosomes now consist of two sister chromatids. chromatids. Mitosis separates these chromatids so that each new cell has a copy of every chromosome. Mitosis, although a continuous process, is conventionally divided into five stages. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Prophase. Prophase occupies over half of mitosis. The nuclear membrane breaks down to form a number of small vesicles and the nucleus in disintegrates. A structure known as the centrosome duplicates itself to form two daughter centrosomes that migrate to opposite ends of the cell. The centrosomes organize the production of the microtubules that form the spindle fibers that constitute the mitotic spindle. The chromosomes condense into compact structures. Each replicated chromosome can now be seen to consist of two identical chromatids held together by a structure, a structure known as centromere. Prometophase. The chromosomes led by the centromeres migrate to the equatorial plane in the mid lane of the cell at right angles to the to the axis formed by the centromeres. This region of the mitotic spindle is known as the metaphase plate. The spindle fiber binds to a structure associated with the centromere of each chromosome called the kinetochore. Individual spindle fibers bind to kinetochore structure on each side of the centromere. The chromosomes continue to condense. In metaphase, the chromosomes align themselves along the metaphase plate of the spindle apparatus. Anaphase, the shortest stage of mitosis, the centromeres divide and then the sister chromatids of each chromosome are pulled apart or disjoined and moved to the opposite ends of the cell. Pulled by spindle fibers attached to the kinetochore region, the separated sister chromatids are now referred to as a daughter chromosomes. Telophase, the final stage of mitosis and a reversal of many of the processes observed during prophase. Prophase. The nuclear membrane reforms around the, around the chromosomes group at either pole of the cell. The chromosomes uncoil and, be, and become diffuse, and the spindle fibers disappear. Cytokinesis, the final cellular division to form two new cells. In plants, a cell plate forms along the line of the metaphase plate. In animals, there is a constriction of the cytoplasm. The cell then enters interphase. 
the interval between mitotic divisions. Meiosis. Some simple organisms such as bacteria can reproduce by simply dividing into two new individuals. Others, other organisms, including human beings, reproduce through sexual reproduction. New individuals are formed by the joining together of two special cells, a sperm cell and an egg cell. The cell in our bodies contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, giving us 46 chromosomes in total. Sperm cells and egg cells contain 23 single chromosomes, half the number, number, normal number, and are made by space, special, special form of the cell division called meiosis. Meiosis separates the pair of matching or the homologous chromosome so that sperm, cell, sperm cells and egg cells have only one copy of each. That way, when an egg cell fuses with a sperm cell, the fertilized egg has a full set, that is two copies of every chromosome. Meiosis involves two cell division, cell division, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, a special cell division produces the cell from diploid to haploid. The homologous chromosome pair and exchange DNA to form recombinant chromosomes. Propis 1 is divided into five bases. Leptotene, chromosome starts to condense. Zygothene, homologous chromosomes became closely associated to, fer to, the, to form pairs of chromosomes consisting of four chromatids. Pachytene, crossing over between the pairs of homologous chromosomes to form chiasmata. Diplotene, homologous chromosomes start to separate but remain attached by chiasmata. Diakinesis, Homologous chromosomes continue to separate and chiasmata move to the end of the chromosomes. From metaphase 1, spindle apparatus form and chromosomes attach to spindle fibers by kinetochores. Metaphase 1, homologous pairs of chromosomes arranged as a double row along the metaphase plate. The arrangement of the pair chromosomes with respect to the poles of the spindle apparatus is random along the metaphase plate. Anaphase 1. The homologous chromosome in each bival bivalent are separated and moved to the opposite poles of the cell. Telophase 1. The chromosomes become diffuse and nuclear membranes reforms. Cytokinesis. The final cellular division to form two new cells followed by meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 is a reduction division. The original diploid cell had two copies of each chromosome. The newly formed haploid cells have one copy of each chromosome. Then meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 separates its chromosomes into two chromatids. The events of meiosis 2 are analogous to, the, to those of a mitotic division, although the number of chromosomes involved has been halved. Meiosis generates, gene, generates genetic di diversity, diversity through the exchange of genetic material between homologous chromosomes during meiosis 1. The random alignment of material and paternal chromosomes in meiosis 1. And last, the random alignment of the sister chromatids at meiosis 2. That's all for the process of mitosis and meiosis. Thank you for listening.